Well, good morning and welcome to Friday's assembly. Now, just before half term, we had an assembly about wishing and it was particularly special because I told you about my special wish, which was for you all to come back to St Christopher's School and then you shared your wishes and a lot of you wished to come back to St Christopher's School. Some of you have come back and some we are still wishing, but we're wishing very, very hard to see if we can get you back very, very soon. You also shared with me some of your other wishes that you have at home, sometimes wishing to see someone that you can't see anymore, sometimes wishing that you could do something very clever like ride your bike without stabilisers. And some of you told me how you were setting out to try and achieve those wishes, so that was a joy as well. So the story I've chosen today to reinforce our thoughts about wishes is a Greek myth. It's quite a famous Greek myth and you know from previous assemblies how much Mrs Thackeray loves Greek myths. So I think you're going to like this one because as well as thinking about wishes today we're going to think about wisdom. Wisdom and that's to be wise. How can we be wise? And is being wise a really important thing to be? So we're going to hear this story that involves wishing and we're going to think about whether this particular person was wise. It may surprise you to know that he's a king as well. And when we think of a king, we probably do think of wisdom, but I'm not so sure that this was a very wise wish to make. Let's enjoy the story. King Midas. King Midas was a foolish, greedy king. He could also be kind and generous. When Silenus, an old satyr who had the body of a goat and the head of a man, arrived at his palace, tired and hungry from wandering in the hills, Midas fed him well and looked after him. Silenus was a companion of the god. Dionysius, who was pleased with the way the king had treated the satyr. Dionysus went to Midas. I'll grant you one wish, he said. You may have anything you like. Midas thought for a while. Then he had an idea. I would like everything I touch to turn to gold, he said. Hmm, that could be dangerous. Are you sure that's a wise choice, said Dionysus. Yes, 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 that's what I want, said Midas excitedly. Very well, your wish is granted. And he disappeared. Midas looked around him. He put out his hand and gently tapped a table. <gasps> it turned into solid shiny gold. Ho, ho, ho! This is wonderful, laughed Midas. I shall be the richest man in the world. He dashed around his palace, touching chairs, walls, doors, pillars and ornaments. He touched sacks of corn and cloth and everything he touched turned to gold. He shouted for his servants. Bring me a feast, he said. I must celebrate. As soon as it was laid on the golden table, he leant forward to pick up a plate. Ding! The plate turned to gold. This is wonderful, he smiled. Then he reached forward to put some food on the plate. Ding! Oh dear, the food turned to gold. He reached forward for his drink. Ding! The drink turned to solid gold. He suddenly realised that he could eat and drink nothing. His young son ran into the room calling, Father! Father! It's time for a celebration! What's happened to the palace? Midas reached out to touch his young son's head, but at once he turned into a golden statue. Oh, what have I done? cried King Midas. That night, a 
alone and hungry, Midas prayed to have Dionysus to save him before he starved to death. I did warn you, said Dionysus, appearing suddenly. Tomorrow, go and bathe in the river and this curse will be lifted and let that be a lesson to you and your wishes. Next morning, King Midas hurried to the river and dashed into the water. When he came out, he touched the bank. It remained as mud. Oh, it's over, he sighed. When he went back to the palace, everything that was gold was normal again, and his young son came running to meet him. Midas had learnt not to be greedy, but he was still foolish, and this was not the end of his adventures. So there was a very interesting wish. On first glance you would have thought that was a perfect wish, but look what happened. And that is why wisdom is so important. Being wise means we think about our decisions. Year two, who enjoy philosophy, think about everything. They have a whole lesson about thinking and you will too when you become in year two. But this has been a chance to think about the importance of wisdom and the importance of wishes were we to be given one. I hope you've enjoyed it. Have a lovely day.